Hey, Granny Gear here for Old Guy in a Bike. If you've ever taken a new chain out of the package to install it on your bike, you realize that packing grease is formidable. It is messy, it's tenacious, it's really difficult to remove. What if you could convert that new chain to a wax-based lube while it's on your bike without all the solvents, without all the stripping? If you could do that, would that be awesome? I think it would. We're gonna try that today with this brand new chain on my Time ADHX build. Stand by, a little mad scientist work is at hand. Hey, I'm here with John with A Mountain Biker Products. Now, you know I've been using a wax-based chain lube, and I'll link my videos below, so I'll tell you more about that. But he's telling me that his smooth lube Smooth Lube, I have a hard time with that line of products, can take a chain from packing grease nightmare to ready to use on your bike to give you lots of miles and smiles. He says he can do it on the bike with a minimum of a mess in just a few minutes. I'm a little skeptical, but I want it to happen because I don't want to have to mess with my chain. What do you think? That was the goal. Should we dive in? Let's do it. Okay, we're diving in, here we go. <laughs> So we're gonna use the original formula here that has many uses. One of them is a chain prep formula. So what this does, instead of dissolving the packing grease, it's going to break it down and encapsulate it. And this way it's much less of a mess. It only takes a few minutes. You don't have to take the chain off and soak it overnight, none of that stuff. This will convert it over and prep the chain for the wax product in about 10 minutes. Ooh, 10 minutes. I'm in, let's go. Yeah. You can apply it the normal way. It, this is the way I like to do it now. Just sort of do a section at a time, get it on there. And then you're gonna just make a tool like this to just push it in. And uh, you, can just use a, you can just use a toothbrush and then move the chain forward and do the next section. So you're putting a pretty good, pretty good little squeeze on there. Yeah, this 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 little bottle for ten or twelve dollars, whatever it is, will probably do about thirty chains. Oh, okay. So now that's a pretty trick little toothbrushy thing you're going on, but you don't really yeah. need that. It's just three toothbrushes banded together. That's right? all it is. I just used an old twenty-eight millimeter inner tube to kind of hold them together here. <laughs> um, ah, bicyclist. Yeah. We're well, used to doing garage stuff. Invented airplanes, bicyclists, right? Yeah. This method just transfers less to jockey wheels and whatnot. Instead of like running your chain Instead backwards. Instead of running your chain here or wherever, you're yeah, gonna yeah, yeah. transfer so much that right. this is just, it just takes an extra minute to do it this way. And you know, sure. it's still a lot less time than taking the chain off and soaking it. So I'm just gonna get plenty on there. And then this pushes most of it in already. Mm -hmm. And then you can see there's hardly anything you transferred see. to the chain ring already. Right, right, so, right, 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 so just I, a little I, bit. Yeah, so this is a very clean way for your $10,000 bike to, That's right. to do this. So it looks like the whole chain is coated now. Right, looks good, looks even. So now we're just gonna use the brush. You can use a single toothbrush too, just to move it around and start breaking down the, the packing grease. Okay. It's basically using the mechanical action of the chain itself moving and the brush keeping it in the chain to, to break it down. So, we're gonna do this for a couple of minutes. Okay. Pretty easy so far. So it's been a couple of minutes. We're gonna add a little more uh, before we do, okay, do the first wipe down. So what did we just do? You went around with a second thick second coat. Second coat, just, okay. it's already broken down some, and now there's, I feel there's more space in the rollers, put some more in. Okay. Can you, to liquefy the packing grease on right. the bike, on the, in the chain itself. and go for another couple minutes like this. Okay. Okay. okay, now we're just gonna wipe it down. Okay. Just this rag. Okay, one nasty old rag, just, wiping rag. Just really picks it up with the terry cloth uh, 
old soft rag here. So we've, we've wiped the chain down the first time. You can go over anything that transferred at this point. Um, the minimal, it's very little. And it doesn't attract anything. So having that on there, my experience has been, I just, it never attracts anything. Not sand, yeah. not, nothing not sticks dirt, to not it. nothing. Nothing yeah. sticks to it. But right. you can see there's hardly anything on here. Um, right. No, I'm right. Just, right. just doing a little extra cleaning, just just to, because there's a little bit of the grease that's on there too. So I want sure. to get it off, you know? Sure. Yeah. So that's wipe down, the first wipe down. And uh, now we're going to try to flush the rest out with one more application. Okay. So now we're gonna do the same process again, just working it in. Hopefully this time we're getting the last bit out of there. At least I would say 80 to 90% of it is gonna be gone. Okay, after we run this video, I expect there's gonna be a mad sale at CVS uh, uh, drug stores on cheap toothbrushes. <laughs> yeah, not, yeah, dollar store. <laughs> dollar store toothbrushes. Yeah, These hey, were four for a dollar, yeah. so. By the way, folks, <laughs> don't use your kids' toothbrushes for this. No. All right, no, no. go get some toothbrushes. I've not tried it on my teeth yet. No. Probably pretty good. <laughs> Keep no. your teeth from sticking together. <laughs> Keep those gummy bears from sticking together. Yeah, yay! Hey, hey that, could, that could be an angle. <laughs> no. But, but seriously, though, no. do not put this anywhere near your no. mouth. Okay? The product is really safe to handle, by the way. You can see I'm not even wearing gloves. Sure. My hands are totally clean. You know, it, 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 there's so many benefits to this. It doesn't have any of those nasty, chemically oily, oozy yeah. smells that a lot of chain lubes I've used. I thought about wearing a three-piece suit here to do this. You it's could true. if you I could was, have had I a tox. You, should, you know, we should have done that. I, my girlfriend talked me out of it. <laughs> so now we're just going to get the rest off and spend a little time trying to get as much off of it and draw, you know, it's, when we put the first coat of wax on, it's going to push the rest out. Mm. And you know the process. It's sort of like the first two or three rides, it just sort of gets established in your yeah, chain. Yeah. And, and then, you know. Yeah, after, after a few hundred miles of riding, this stuff really yeah. Really, I don't know, it just makes the chain magical. It's yeah, and you'll, and if you ride a lot, you'll feel it through your pedals, yeah, how smooth yeah. it is. So right now, if I touch the chain, okay. It's really clean. Yeah. Um, you can see there's just no mess. Like I said, I, I would say 80% of the stuff is gone, or maybe more, mm -hmm. uh, the packing grease. The old method was just to apply this stuff and ride and just keep applying and push it through over a couple rides. Mm -hmm. But this just gets it done right away. And one of the things is the chain wear on a, when you're breaking a chain, usually it gets to about five or 10% uh, just in breaking in a chain. I've got a bike here. We've had that chain on all summer since about April. It's still at 0% wear. Mm. I don't even know how this is possible, mm. but um, yeah. preparing the chain for the product without doing the traditional breaking the chain in method, which causes a lot of metal to be removed, this seems to give you even more chain life. Yeah. Okay, so we've we've gone ahead and wiped down. Now we're going to apply a lube that we would use, like yeah. like the daily lube, right? Yeah. Okay. Everyday lube, and okay. we're just going to put it on the regular way, so it's. You know, a little, a little easier to trying to get, get our arms quicker. out of the way of cameras. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And so then, you know, we could do it a, a few lengths at a time if we wanted to, but yeah, we don't have to. You, and then you could just use the brush that it came with too, just to push it. And in. And you supply that little brush with yeah. the chain lube, mm -hmm. right? And that gets it down in the rollers nicely. Yeah, it just pushes it in there where it needs to go. And you do want to put some on the outside for the corrosion protection, but right. I never wipe my chain down. Yeah. I know some people do, but I, I'd leave it on. I figure it's fending off nasty stuff. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a little more. Just to... And it got on there a little thick. I'm gonna use the tool again, just to, yeah. just, okay. to, just to get it on the all around the outside of the chain. So at this point in the process, you really want to, every time you lube your chain, you want to cycle it for about a minute because you want to make sure it's touching all the surfaces on the inside, mm. not just sitting on the outside of your chain. The ideal is to, to fill the rollers like a wax dip chain. Uh, I think we have a lot of long standing habits of putting a small amount of chain lube on to not waste it, to not attract dust. That's not the case with this. You want to simulate a wax dip chain as much as possible by mm. filling the rollers as much as possible. Mm. 
And of course, you don't have to take your chain off and dip it. That's right, it's pretty awesome. So there's some transfer now because we did it that way. So we're just gonna pick it up and then I'm gonna just move it around onto the rest of the cassette to help you with uh gotcha yeah so there's even even there's very little on the jockey wheels yeah yeah, yeah. so we'll just nice. we'll just pick it up though anyway and that brush touching it just kind of removes that and yeah it picks it up off. and you can wipe the brush off on a rag and just yeah, yeah. it's not not too hard there's very little on your chain ring, but you can even take that off by just going like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. You know, just... But, you know, if you leave it on there, it's also extra protection mm -hmm. from wear. So that's about it. You can see there's a little bit that transferred because we did it that way. Mm -hmm. Let me just take it off. It just comes right off. And then what's left dries pretty clear. Right, right. Um, I've done it on black cassettes. You can barely see it. Um, so again, this is the full conversion. That's why we're 10 minutes into this or whatever it is yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. But when you go to top off your chain after this, it's it's one minute. Um, Sweet. You could wipe the chain down if you wanted to. I, I, say, I say don't do that. I say leave it on and let it dry. You'll see. It'll be pretty clear. It'll be like a wax dip chain without the crock pot, without all of that stuff you have to go yeah, through yeah 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 so dude that's awesome that's awesome i didn't have to uh get out the nasty chemicals and yeah. put my chain in a can and shake it around and my, my hands are pretty clean <laughs> yeah 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 absolutely uh, you know absolutely. most of this came off the rag from the grease but, yeah uh, that's awesome you know it's not in the environment and it's it's not it's not you don't have to buy another product right uh, no that's great i think that's a wrap awesome okay. hey thanks to john from a Mountain Biker Products for coming over and showing me this, for getting my chain all set up. I'll have a link below for Smooth Lube Products, all the chain lubes. I'll also link the last videos where I talked about uh, how this chain, chain lube has treated me over the last, well, geez, John, it's gotta be going on five years now. Right, you're close, huh? It's been a while. Yeah. It's awesome stuff. All right, that's it for now. You guys have a great week and weekend, and as always, go ride your bikes. <laughs>